Welcome to Mew with the Jank. Lista here, and today we're going to make an or easy origami swan. So, that's what it looks like. And so, yeah. And if you don't want that white showing, you can use double color. Pick double color side paper. So, what we're going to do is start close up facing down and just fold it diagonally in half. Get a nice big triangle. Alright, unfold it, and we're going to take our two edges and fold them to the center. And we're going to fold them like this. So we, when we fold one of the sides, we get a triangle shape. And we're just going to do the same with the other side. And with both of them folded in, we get something that kind of looks like a kite shape. Like this. So flip it over, and we're going to take our both edges and fold them into the center. And try not to snag on these flaps, so, like, don't want them to pop out, you want them to stay. So, try to keep it, hold it as nice and snug as you can. And come to a nice tip. It doesn't always have to be perfect, but, yeah. So, now, this is going to be like your bot uh or tail part ish and this is gonna be our like head so i want to take our pointy head and fold it all the way to this point or tail point of our tail make a big crease try to round it out as good as you can all right now um we're going to fold this in half but we're not gonna fold it like we're gonna fold this part in half but not so much of the head part because we don't want to crease it all the way in this part. So we're just going to do this. So we're going to fold this like that. And then try not to make it crease right there. Oh. Okay, never mind. Okay, so you can just make a crease actually. It's actually fine. You can make a crease like right there. Not really so much of a strong, strong piece, but... Okay, so then you want to just lift it up, this, this, like, pointy part, and you can lift it up however far you want. If you want it to be, like, really straight, that's fine. If you want it, like, kind of, like, relaxing back its head, back more its neck, then you can do that. All right, then we're just going to open up this, not, not too much, but, yeah, so we're done. We just got to make the head part, so, um, <clears throat> basically kind of like what we do for a crane, almost. Pull this down however much you want, and then... You just push it up a little bit, and then back here, you want to close that, and at the same time, you want to make sure that you make a crease up top here and fold this head in half, so you get something like that. And there you go, that's the Easy Origami Swan. Alright, and you can make different one of these, you can make smaller ones, oh, and uh, like, like I said, you can adjust them differently and stuff like that. So yeah, so, thank you very much for watching. And please subscribe. And yeah. So, thank you very much. Bye-bye.